Yo, 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 YouTube, what is up, man? It's your boy, Damn D P O B. We are back with another video. And today I want to go over this video. Uh, I made a video about uh, Charleston White going off on Hassan Campbell. Now, Hassan Campbell is about to respond. Um, and he's about to talk about Charleston White, man. So let's get straight into it. You know what I'm saying? I saw the other day you put up a little video with Charleston White. So what's, what's your beef with him? What, what, who, who is this Charleston White guy? Like, what, who is he to you? Why is he a topic of discussion with you? Well, Charleston White, see, what, what, what a lot of people fail to realize And keep that. it real, like I did about my hair. With, with Charleston White, it's like, with, with Charleston White, he was big on Instagram, I mean Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Charleston White, he wasn't on the, he was in a YouTube presence. So, InfoMods, Timbo, brought up an idea with me and Charleston White doing an interview together on his platform. And we did, a few of them, to break Charleston White in to YouTube. I'm the one that brought him to YouTube. So now, we was, me and Charleston White was supposed to battle it out on YouTube, on that platform. But when I heard some of the lies that Charleston White was actually an advocate for the children, I'm like, nah, I can never go against that. So me and Charleston White was like ace boom coons. And a lot of the topics that I was dealing with, right? For example, when they were like, I'm lying, Charleston White didn't steal my style. Celebrity gossip is what made me a million dollars off of YouTube. And particularly, so the two of the topics that I dealt with that really, really, really shook the, the internet up was me being the only dude, black dude, whoever. You ain't black. Start disrespecting. <laughs> she said, you ain't black. Hey, shout out to this young lady. She said, you ain't black. What you talking about, you, you black? <laughs> I caught that. I caught that. Only dude, black dude, whoever. You ain't black. Start disrespecting the gangs and the gang violence. Charles White adapted that after me. Then it was Hassan Campbell goes at Jay Prince. So what did Charleston White do? He went at Jay Prince. Hassan Campbell beefing with WAC 100. What did Charleston White do? Everybody I beefed with, he found a celebrity and did the same exact thing. And then it started going from Charleston White actually, like, for example, he just did a video rolling over on the floor on money. Now, if you go back to my old lives, when I was dissing somebody, I forgot who it was on my YouTube, and I had the green rug, I called it El Blaga, I was rolling around on the floor in the live, dissing a dude. And, and, and that. So everything that I did, he bit from my style. The only difference is Charleston White, he's a little bit more funnier than me. He is. He's funny. So the fallout between me and Charleston White, where me and Charleston White went left, and Charleston White made videos about me for a whole two weeks and I ignored him, is when he got into a situation with Math Hoffa and he started disrespecting Math kids. I know Math. I consider Math a dude that's my friend. So when he did that, I clearly said on Queen's Split platform, I got to separate myself from this dude because there's no boundaries that he won't cross. He's disrespecting dudes that's cool with me, their children. So when I when I separated myself and said I can't I can't uh, approve of that, that's when Charleston White started um, smearing me and disrespecting me all over the internet. And then you know people sit up there saying I'm picking on him. No, he did it to me first. It's just that okay. So this is Charleston. This is Hassan Scamp Hassan Scamble. This is Hassan Campbell explaining to everybody how the beef started. All right. For a while, I ignored him because when Charleston White had his YouTube page, he wasn't doing the, the numbers that I was doing on YouTube on his own page. He had to go over to Say Cheese and other dudes that had a million subscribers to do those numbers because he couldn't do the same numbers match for match with me on, on YouTube. He couldn't do it. So that's why he would say little things like, oh, yeah, I saw Campbell. He's stuck on YouTube. I'm out here doing shows. If I wanted to do shows, I could do shows. So, I mean, let's dive into that. Would you consider doing shows? Like, I feel like you would definitely be a positive influence if you were able to do that. That's up next for me. Could that could that could that change your image? That's exactly what I don't want to change my image. No, let's let's Why? Not, let's not get that messed up because a lot of people that I be talking to is like Wait, because Okay, so let's see if he's gonna say anything more about Hassan. Why did that? I mean because like, you said that he came out that goes on in the black community. I don't want to because the reality of it is Did you say Charleston White did that? Because like, you said that he came out as a positive figure, but now he's changing. Do you believe that that is why he has this level of success? Yes, of course. Okay. Because it's like I said, which he quotes too from me. Pac said, I peaked the weakness in this rap game and sold it. When Pac was talking about Dear Mama, he was doing a hype. But then when he made, when he came out with Machiavelli and All Eyes On Me and I hit him up, and, and, and it was different for Brenda Got a Baby. He elevated to a level that you can't surpass. So you, so so what you're saying, because I, I also see people be like, oh, Hassan sold his soul. But I don't see a difference in you. What's see, your response to that? See, the whole thing about it is when a nigga sold his soul. Cap. Uh, let's see if he's going to say anything else about, uh, about Charleston White. Do you see how my family is living? It's a welfare that's struggling. Your kids still live in the hood. Your kids got to right, sure. see. Here goes the thing. This is where you and I differ. They, a lot of drug dealers. All right, so I, I, I think so that's. Can hear me, and I, can make I think that's probably it about Charleston White. So basically, that's him explaining his well from his point of view. Right, this is his point of view of how the beef started between them two. So. Y'all leave a comment down below, man. Y'all let me know. Is it accurate? Is he capping? Is he telling the truth? Mm, you know. I would like to hear Charleston White 
perspective to see if this is pretty accurate, you know, but Hassan Campbell thinks everybody's jacking from him. He thinks everybody's still in his style. He think he, he thinks he literally created YouTube. He literally thinks he create he created YouTube and he created all this stuff, you know. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, Hassan does get his numbers and people do know him. Um but he just think he's the forefather of this. Like he created all of this. I mean, he he definitely has a has a has a has a voice on YouTube. I would never take that away from him. Um, but yeah, man. Um, y'all leave a comment down below and y'all let me know how y'all feel about Hassan Campbell explaining the beef between well, exposing the truth on how the beef started between him and Charleston White. It's your boy Damn D signing out, baby.